In other news, now the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sawolu, has reopened the Akbomba section of the Eco Bridge to commuters after last year's fire outbreak. The governor Wu was present alongside officials of the federal and state Ministry of Works, said work is not yet complete. He advised residents to cooperate with the state government by desisting from trading under the bridge. Ayomide AJB reports. For two years, hey. For two years, hey, Baba, Tinubu, God go bless you. I don't go talk anything again. Tinubu, God go bless you. The reaction says it all. It's been 15 months since the Akwangon session of the Eco Bridge was closed due to the fire incident that weakened major components and the supporting pillars of the bridge. Now the bridge has been opened to road users. We appreciate you all. We thank you so much because we. We have already suffered enough. We don't want to suffer again. We suffered the, the way we are coming to the market. Our way going back, we suffered, but we still appreciate. Lagos State Governor Babajide Songolu says his government is committed to maintaining and reinforcing the durability of the infrastructure. And hence, there will be integrity tests conducted intermittently in the future. At this end, this portion of Akongbo of Eco Bridge will now be fit for motorists. Like has been said, the work has not ended. This part has been completed, but the work on the entire bridge has not been completed. There are lots of other bearings that still has to be done on the entire stretch of the bridge. It was an opportunity to sand out illegal squatters under the bridges to evacuate as government is embarking on total eviction to protect and preserve public infrastructure across the state. We want to say thank you, and we're using this opportunity again to tell the illegal occupants of under bridges that it can no longer be business as usual. These roads, these highways, is a national asset. We are using this to warn again that there cannot be any form of trading, there cannot be any form of activity under this bridge or under any bridge for that matter. This opening brings relief and convenience to the lives of Lagos residents, making daily commute smoother, easier and safer. And the excitement on the faces of these Lagosians speaks volume. The rate at which residents are trooping out from this end of the road may seem as if there has been a prison break. But of course they are excited that the road is finally opened. What is left now is that residents start playing their role, playing their part, and ensure they do not sell, buy, or sleep under the bridges so as to ensure that Lagos State is a safer place to live, to walk, and to relate. I am Media Jake, the TVC News, Lagos.